Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important concept which would be rand curve. Have you ever heard about this topic? If you have not heard, this is the perfect time for you to understand the concept of rand curve. Let's see the details of rand curve here. The idea of rand curve is something that plays a very important role when it comes to economics. So let's get started. We could see that as the name suggests, the idea of rand curve is something that plays a very important role when it comes to Richard W. Rand. Why? Because this person is a propounder of the idea of rand curve. This person is an American economist and he is also a syndicated columnist who also acts as an entrepreneur. He has got several businesses and this person is the chairman of Improbable Success Production as well as the Institute for Global Economic Growth. He is also famous for his writings. He writes a syndicated weekly economic column which would which is published which all which gets published in the Washington Times. So in different manners, in different ways, this person is really really famous and coming to the idea of rahan ran curve not rahan curve ran curve we could see that this supply side supporter ran richard ran he had set a goal for maximizing growth and and this would is something that is held beyond a certain level which he says as 25 percentage. Now, he also considers something called public expenditure. And he says, beyond this point, it would be counterproductive because it would compromise the level of economic growth. Let me take you to the original run curve and make you understand the exact explanation that is given by run. This is how a run curve would look like. It looked like a Kuznets curve. But would you consider over the x axis and y axis would make a run curve different from Kuznets curve, even though the shape appeared to be the same. So this curve, as you could see, it has got an inverted U shape but why so here we measure the government spending as a percentage of GDP along the X axis and economic performance along the Y axis now as per this curve what it says is that there would be an optimal level of government spending. And when we say optimal level of government spending, this optimum level of government spending would maximize optimum government spending. It would be maximizing economic growth. So this is what this is what the curve says. So you could see that when you move from this point towards the right, the government spending is increasing. And again, when you start from this point to up, the economic performance is increasing. So initially what happens? You start from this point, initially higher, higher government spending would help to improve economic performance. Let, let's take two points. Let it be these two points. So at this point, this would be the corresponding level of economic spending and uh, government spending and economic performance. So this much would be the government spending and this much would be the performance. 
and what about this point again you will be having a corresponding level of economic performance and government spending so both are increasing right there is an increase again at this point it shows the very same only you will be having government spending and economic performance increasing simultaneously this is what initially happens initially government spending would help to improve economic performance now this will not stay for long or forever because after a particular point for example after this point what happens to further government spending further government spending would definitely happen as a result of increase in tax rate because government would get revenue from tax and it will go for economic spending let's consider some point after this point let it be this point so at this point you will be having this much level of government spending and this much level of economic growth earlier we were having this much level of economic growth and government spending was less comparatively so that means after reaching the maximum point uh, or after reaching the optimum point or after reaching the optimum size of government spending if the government continues to spend it will not do any good for the economy but rather it would do bad so that's it regarding rancor hope you understand the concept i request you to like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos i request you to join our free telegram community to discuss your doubts there also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching